Hello Z-Bird and welcome back to Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 and today we are checking out another legendary hat. This one was sold by Rux a couple of days ago and it is the Rose Legendary Hat Crimson Crown and I think it looks really cool. I have no idea what its legendary effect was but it was a bit of a cheaper one. 300,000 so I'm thinking it might not be as much of a wow factor as recent legendary hats we have checked out so we'll have to wait and see but for now let's just go ahead and try to get a Vanquish or two. Oh gosh my HUD is off. Uh, let's fix that. Uh, show all. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Thought something was weird. I was like, something's not right here. It was the uh, the HUD was gone. So yeah, let's give this a shot and try to do what we can. Of course, the rose has gone undergone some major changes, and I might talk about a little bit in today's episode. Um. I'm still recording this before a majority of this week's God of War for two content comes out, so I haven't really heard too much feedback on what people want to see. But oh, that's pretty cool. It like opens up the top and a little crystal comes out, and that's really it. So I can understand why that one is maybe a little bit cheaper than your average legendary hat. It's not that much of a crazy effect, but it's okay. You know, some people do appreciate the more kind of simple style for the legendary hats. I don't know how I'm doing so well. Wasn't Rose nerfed? <laughs> we already got times for Banquet Street going on here. Okay, let's go ahead and try to get this electrician. Come on, get you, get you, get you, or the or the. Soldier, whatever works, ow. Okay, that got me pretty good. But yeah, why don't we take some time today and talk about Rose's changes. I might also talk a little bit about Super Brains' changes because I didn't do that in the last episode. But the first thing is the Rose, in general, Magic Thistles. Um, I think the, the base Rose, the one we're playing right now. Magic Thistles went from 30 ammo to 20. Not as much as before, but I think that's not really that much of a nerf, to be honest with you. Um, Neck Rose actually got a buff and I'll be playing her in probably just a couple of moments because I'm very close to getting her to level 10. Um, she, her Staff of Jinxing, ja the Staff of Jinxing, um, that's her primary weapon. Uh, its impact damage went from 6.5 to 7.5, so one whole damage more, which is going to be slightly noticeable. Um, the abilities for Rose, the Time Snare, the duration for, went from 2.5 seconds to 1.5, which I don't know if it needed a full second of deduction, maybe half a second would have been fine, but hey, we'll, we'll see. Um, oh gosh, who was that? Was that a zombie? Was that a plant? I'm not really sure. Uh, let's go ahead and get this electrician as much as I can. I mean, we're still landing some good damage. It's just a matter of we're landing it not as often. I mean, I guess not in large quantities because of the fact, oh, come on, go to five. There we go. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Oh, that's not gonna turn out very well. It's because we don't have as much ammo. Her go to five was also changed, of course. Um, projectile speed went from 100 to 35. So what that means is when you throw it, it moves noticeably slower. Wow, okay, interesting. The gravity went from minus 9.8 to zero. What I think that meant is that you would move slower as a goat, maybe? I have no clue. Um, the area of effect went from four to 3.5, which I think is like, oh great, I had a hard enough time landing it as it was. That's for the uh, normal go to five, but the changes seem to be exactly the same for psychedelic as well. Initial position of projectile raised, so when you initially throw it, it sort of changed how high up in the air it is. Um, it's higher than it used to be. So that's an interesting change as well. So a lot of people have been asking, why are you nerfing all of Rose except for Necros? And the answer for that is because, to be honest with you, the blunt answer is not many people, if anyone really plays Necros all that often. I know there's probably a couple people who love her and she thinks she's a great variant, and I'm not disagreeing with you. It's just a matter of the data says that not many people are playing Necros, so why not give her a buff? That way she seems a little bit more worthwhile to play. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set up this teleport and then move on over. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even see you. That was weird. Um, but then we have um, changes to the Arcane Lotus. Its healing per tick actually went up from 25 to 35, which was good because still nobody's using that very much. We then have uh, the Godified Player. The jump height, jump height went from 1.65 to 2.5, which is um, obviously more beneficial for them. They can try to jump away and be a little bit more of a pain in the butt because of it. Um, oh gosh, where are you going? Oh, you, you fell. That's good for us. Try to get this guy a little bit. Oh, that's not gonna land because of the the goal thing, the uh, the tackle dummy. Okay, you know what? You're you're turning into a goat, Mister. I'm healing. Okay, can we get you? You jump. You really do jump pretty high now. Oh, come on, get the imp, get the imp. Jeez, I am not playing very well. Probably because I'm trying to look back and forth between this and the notes. But uh, before we continue on, I would love to hear your thoughts on this new legendary hat. Well, I guess it's not new. I think it's a couple months old. But uh, I'm not even equipping it right now. I'm such a dingus. I am just so much going through my brain at once. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Crimson Crown legendary hat. That's the one we're trying to showcase today. Do you think it's worth 300,000 coins? Do you not? Do you have it? Do you not? I would love to hear all that kind of thoughts. Uh, thank you for letting me know. 
But moving on, Psychedelic Goatified player. Um, the jump height also got changed. Psychedelic Goat is even wackier than a normal goat. New jump multiplier is 1.5. New jump, or speed multiplier is 1.5. So I guess he moves around all over the place. It's just hard to control when you're a Psychedelic Goat, which is supposed to be the point, so I'm glad they improved that. Because before it wasn't really all that much of a difference because most goats just sort of stand there. But now I guess it's even wilder because they can move around quickly, which is, you know, pretty crazy. Um, so I want to try to beat you up, but it looks like it might just be better to go in and try to heal my friend. So healing this Citron would be great. And it's actually working out pretty well. Because one we get a higher heal per tick now, which is awesome. Come on, come on, come on. Try to get you a little bit. We're doing okay, but not okay enough. Ooh, gotcha, I actually got a vanquish, look at me. Charge up. Okay, and of course the rose, the other rose was in the way for that one. Oh, but no, you got you got jinxed. I don't know if it was for me, but you got jinxed. Okay, come on, get you a little bit. Oh my gosh, there's like a total laggy mess in front of me. So the rose hitbox was also changed, and if you don't know what a hitbox is, that is sort of the area of which if you were to hit a character, it would still hit them. So you know how sometimes I can sort of go like this, and it doesn't really look like it's hitting that umbrella that I was trying to hit there, but it still does? That's the thing's hitbox. It's this invis invisible box that tells the game you know, where an item is, I guess. Um, and it was increased on all variants. So basically that was larger, which means that she's gonna be more easy to hit. So not only is she not as effective in combat, but she's going to be easier to take out in combat, which is fine because Rose was a support character and always has been and is not supposed to be uh, dominant in combat. So that's fine. I don't think that's gonna be a big problem because we're supposed to be playing Rose, just as we're playing her here. We, we stay back, we support our teammates a little bit, we heal when we can, we you know give them supportive moves when we can, and we set up teleporters in front of the other Roses. We go, ha, ha, ha. Well, we don't do the ha, ha, ha part because I'd be rude, but you know what I mean. But yeah, that's supposed to be the idea, is that we're supposed to support the team, not lead the team. That just isn't how the character is supposed to be played. So they've changed it to hopefully reflect that a little bit more and hopefully make it a little bit more even for every other variant in the game. I think they've done that. I mean, obviously we are, it's in a situation where it's loads better than it was when the game launched. At that point, it wasn't doing so great with Rose. It was just Rose was super powerful for some reason. But yeah, they were now moving on their changes to uh, Super Brains, which I wanted to talk about last episode, but I sort of just totally forgot because I'm a dingus. Well, I didn't actually have them up. I couldn't find them at that point. That was it. But now I, I have them up, so I can talk about those now as well. Uh, Super Brains' laser beam got changed. Um, its close range damage got increased, which is great. Um, his far damage got majorly decreased. This is for the base Super Brains. Um, it went from 3.5 to one. So uh, similar to some of the uh, characters we were playing in the last episode, it's just one damage from a distance. Um, his damage drop off start distance went from 30 to 15. What that means is of course, the farther you are away from somebody, the less damage you'll do to them as a character like Super Brains. Uh, that, that trigger of how far you have to be before the damage gets lowered is now closer together. What that means is the farther they are now, the less damage you'll do even farther. Like, like it, it's worse <laughs> for Super Brains. Um, and then, his damage drop off end distance went from 45 to 50. So I guess that means that it doesn't, like, I don't know, that that's sort of hard to explain and visualize at the same time. So I'm not really sure how to explain that one. But overall, his long distance is worse, but his short distance is actually better, which is good, because I don't think we were trying to expect a full on Super Brains nerf with this uh, patch. We we're trying to find him to be tuned up, both good and bad, you know? You know, just trying to make him an overall more balanced character. And sometimes that means adding, sometimes that means taking away. And of course, if you saw last episode where we checked out the uh, uh, Space Coaster Legendary Hat as Super Brains, you would know a major change was that he has multiple kicks now. He can kick twice, which is really crazy. Um, lastly, the last change to uh, Super Brains' Laser Beam was Laser Beam now overheats even faster and overheat penalty is longer. And I think all of the Super Brains had that. And I feel like to a point where it's sort of overdone, I think it's a bit of a problem. Um, but what I see with the Super Brains change, and I'll go over all the other ones, people are saying Cosmic Range was totally destroyed and we'll talk about that, um, was the fact that I think they want to change Super Brains so he's not being as much of sort of kind of a sniper character, especially with Cosmic Brains, you know? He was really a mid to long range character before. They're changing him so that you are supposed to go in and get those punches, maybe do some close range beaming, but mostly you are focused on that melee combat. 
At the end of the day, he was supposed to be a zombie version of even something like the Chomper, where you get in close, you do some major damage, and then you get out of there. That's sort of the idea with Super Brains. Now, he's still a lot more mobile and a lot more tanky than a Chomper most of the time, so I think you still get some major things done, especially with that double kick. Once again, you kick in, you beat people up, and then you kick out, and that's sort of the idea, is that he's being changed as a character to be more melee focused because of all that kind of stuff. Let's go ahead and try to beat up some of these guys before they even notice. Necros can be really powerful with that kind of stuff. It's beautiful when you can just charge up, hit that Jinx, and then just destroy them with damage when it actually lands. Did I go to fight anybody there? I don't go to fight one person. It looked like it could have been more, but I guess it wasn't. Heal these people up, come on, give them heals. Everybody deserves some heals. Okay, we did okay. Oh, I see the super, uh, this not super prince, but it was an all-star that way. I think it was the same guy I took out before. Oh, there's one right in front of my face. Hey, we got level 10 though. That's what I was looking for. So yeah, go ahead and take me out. We'll switch over to a different rose. Awesome. There is a character we'll try to remember to promote at the end of today's episode. Who do we got now? Let's go ahead and do the fire rose. The next closest one to the uh, the next level 10. <laughs> She's a far ways away at level three. Oh gosh, uh, the game end? I think it did. Yeah, it did. Okay, I freaked out. I thought that maybe like, I have my PS4 turned off or something. But there we go, there's our first round with the Rose and this legendary hat. I'll promise I'll talk about it more soon. Even though it's a pretty simple legendary hat, there isn't much to talk about. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And we'll talk more about Super Brains changes in the next round. All right, so back into the action. Let's see if we play any better with a Fire Rose than we did the uh, Neck Rose, hopefully. I don't really know if I'm very good at this character, but we're gonna find out together. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to talking about the changes to the Cosmic Brains. And they were changes, all right. Um, I think that it really does support my idea that you know they want to focus on the close range because his fists, his actual punching ability was actually improved. The charge time, which of course with Cosmic Brains you charge up your punches, he, he those were reduced so it doesn't take as long to charge up your punches. But we've had one of the most drastic changes to a character in one patch I think ever because his close damage was not changed but his far damage went from 7.5 to 1. Obviously, it is a totally different setup now because of that. It just does not do the amount of damage you expect. Hey, first strike, awesome. I sort of stole from that Colonel Corn, I'm so sorry, but I'm glad I got it instead of the zombie, you know, because they're on the enemy team. Oh gosh, it destroyed me quick there. They just turned around and just destroyed me. Or maybe it was this guy on the floor. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's a big, big change. Cosmic Brains is just not effective long range anymore. And then of course his drop off distance was also changed. It was uh, weakened. And he also has the overheat for longer and he overheats more quickly. Uh, just like I think all the Super Brains got that one. The Electro Brains I think is sort of the same. His uh, close range damage unchanged, but then his long range damage took some, you know, some hits negatively. Um, his electro change damage was ultra, or electro chain, so when he's like hitting people and the electricity jumps from one uh, plant to another, that was reduced as well, which I don't think was necessary because we've already had an electro brains nerf in the past and it really did that job for us. I don't see why we need that again. Is it really that much of an obtrusive thing at this point? I don't think so. I've never really, in the last couple years, gone against an electro brains and go, oh, his electricity is too OP at this point, but maybe that's just me. Maybe people totally disagree. Toxic brains, sort of the same thing. His close range damage totally unchanged, but his far damage and the drop off distance, that was all negatively uh, changed for him. Not much beyond that. Party brains, same exact thing it looks like. Actually, his close range damage was increased from 4.5 to 5.5, and then everything else, same changes as before. So it really does seem like they just wanna make him a melee character. Breakfast Brains, his punch damage was increased from four to 5.5. His maximum speed debuff was 60% to 40%. Additionally, it takes Breakfast Brains longer to reach maximum move speed debuff. Interesting, okay, so like I think that when you know, you're charging up and you're starting to hit faster and faster, that's been, he doesn't charge up as fast as quickly. And he hits harder though, so it's like a decent exchange, I think. I think overall he's still gonna be a better variant than what he was. I mean, of course, he still has the uh, negative changes to his range, but that's happening to all of them, so it's sort of a moot point. And then the Super Brain's abilities, his hero kick, or heroic kick went from one to two, like we talked about earlier. The cooldown per charge went from 15 to 12 seconds, which is pretty good. The damage was majorly reduced, though, from 35 to 12, and the knockback was totally removed. Wait. 
how is it totally removed? I don't get that too much. I, I'm, I know I'm not playing very well today and I apologize. I'm trying to read all these changes while doing this and we're almost done with the changes then we can focus on playing a little bit more. <laughs> but um, what's the point of the kick then? I guess just to get in and out of situations, which is only mildly helpful. I mean, it's much more helpful when it actually does some knockback. I'm gonna have a lot of people corrected me on last episode, aren't I? <laughs> Cause I was talking about that. And then Turbo Twister was totally destroyed as well. It's damage went from six to two. The movement speed debuff from enemy to enemies went from 25% to removed again. Wow, so before when you did a turbo twister on an enemy, it would slow them down a little bit. Now it doesn't do that whatsoever. Super Brains' movement speed multiplier went from 1.1 to 1.35, so he still moves, he moves even faster in turbo twister. The cooldown went from 22 seconds to 25, and the turbo twister duration went from five to 3.5 seconds. I gotta be honest, this I feel like has ruined Super Brains' special moves. There is no reason to use turbo twister anymore. Like absolutely none. And I felt that when I was playing him yesterday. I honestly, like, like to be honest with you, I didn't think Turbo Twister was that great of a move to begin with. I mean, the biggest benefit was that you were able to slow down opponents so that after you're done with that, you can punch them away, you know? But you can't even do that anymore. It does no damage. Like, I don't see the point. Like maybe you take slightly reduced damage when you're Turbo Twistering. So maybe you could use it as a slight escape move but it really wouldn't be that great of an escape move if you have two kicks, you know? So I'm thinking it's just not worth using. Like before, there were a lot of situations where I would say don't even use the Turbo Twister before then, but it feels like they just made it really just like in a way unusable. I, I would love to hear counter arguments to that. Do you disagree with me? I'd love to hear, because this is you know the stuff we want to have conversations about so that we can you know figure out what's truly correct and you know improve the game. But I don't know. I felt like that. I was. I was thought I was gonna like Super Brains a little bit more coming out of this, but because of his changes on his abilities, I don't think that's gonna be the case. Okay, we're getting some decent vanquishes now. I think. There's a lot of zombies on the roof. I can say that much. Uh, I'm not really doing a very good job of hitting any of them. <laughs> Try to damage this guy a little bit. He has the fire damage on him, so it'll help. Yeah, we're not doing very good as a team, but somehow we already got the first point, so we're doing okay. I would say that. The Rose changes were expected. Everybody complains about Rose, even if it, in my opinion, was it really all that bad to begin with? I don't really think so. I mean, she was a little bit of a tough character to go against at times, and I think these changes won't hurt the game. I think the Super Brains changes were really bizarre, though, and a lot of them. Like, I mean, I understand the idea. Make Super Brains a close range character, but it felt like there was still more taken away from him than he gained, and it was just an overall nerf. And we'll have to wait and see because a lot of people still are playing Super Brains. We ran into how many Super Brains so far in today's episode, you know? So maybe it really, in the long term, maybe it won't make as much of a difference as I'm thinking. You know, we'll have to wait and see. That's sort of the part of the whole waiting thing. Okay, we got a zombie bot there. Not what I was looking for. Jeez, I, I hit a guy a lot there and I didn't get the vanquish. So let's charge up a lot. And maybe it'd be smarter if I just did the charge up shots. But they keep on hitting this wall. Oh boy. Now they're focusing on this chomper. Go for it. Okay, so I got a teleporter experience there. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, I'm not very good at this Rose. I'm very, very bad at him actually. <laughs> so I'll try my best, but I, her, bad at her. I don't know why I said him. Also, I don't even have the hat on. I'm like such an airhead today. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I'm such an airhead right now. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know, it's been one of those days, right? Let's go ahead and get the hat back on. I mean, I don't really have too much more to say about the hat. It is what it is. I feel like it, it's worth the 300,000 because it's a nice little effect and it looks cool. It definitely looks pretty cool. I think it'll look best on Ice Rose for sure. That red on top of the, the nice cool blue. Gonna look pretty sharp if you ask me. But overall, it's a nice and simple hat. It could have gotten away with being like a super rare and I don't think anyone would have uh, thought twice about it. I mean, it does have a, an animation that happens when you get a Vanquish, so that's why it's a legendary. But at the same time, you know, it's not the craziest. But that's why, you know, they were reasonable with it. They made it 300,000. I think it would have been fine at maybe 250, but 300 is still pretty good compared to the average legendary hat that was 500,000. Also, I've been kicking myself in the butt because I forgot to buy the scientist legendary hat that was in Rux's shop. That's like the second or third time I've missed it. I think it's the jet topper or something. To be honest with you, it honestly seems like the scientist version of this hat where it's like, it's not really all that great. Like, I mean, it's it's not that it's not great, it's not that it's just not really, like, there's not too much of a wow factor with it, like I said at the beginning of today's episode. You know, like, with some of the other ones, you get this cool effect, you get this, like, 
funny character doing this cool thing every time you vanquish somebody like last episode with the coaster or with the kangaroo that throws a boomerang, you know? Um, that, that to me has wow factor. But this is uh, a little bit different. This is like, oh, that's pretty neat. You know, there's neat and then there's wow. Makes sense? Probably not. But um, that's sort of what the scientist had with that one. I think it was just that flames came out of the top of it. But I'm not entirely sure because I don't have the hat and I forgot to buy it because I didn't have enough time to even earn up 500,000 coins yet alone. Remember to go in and get the hat itself. I don't know. Only so much time in a day. I mean, it's hard to earn up the coins because Rux is only available from ter Thursday to Sunday, which is just not easy. I mean, Rux shows up twice a week now. The first, you know, Half of his showcases though really aren't that great. Like we have them right now and it's all just classic stuff, which is great if you're trying to earn up your collection, don't get me wrong. But if you're not, like me, it's really, you know, there's nothing too crazy about it. I mean, I, I would love to earn up my collection, don't get me wrong. It's just a matter of I just don't have the, uh, the time to earn up that many coins anymore. I really wish I did, but it's just not feasible. Let's go through the teleporter. We're at least earning up a fair chunk of experience just by having the teleporter set up, which is why I'm definitely gonna try to rush that for each uh, point, that'd be the most beneficial thing. Okay, let's try to revive you. I'm just gonna play it safe. We're gonna try to support our characters, our teammates as much as we can. If we can get a couple vanquishes along the way, that's always helpful and awesome. Oh gosh, who hit me there? What was that? Oh, it was the loudmouth bot. That was weird. Okay, I'm getting you, but somebody's beating me up because you're rude. Become a goat, ow. What was that? Oh, it was you. Where'd you come from? I don't know. You keep vanquishing me over and over again. Okay, luckily some of our teammates are still taking the point though, which is pretty good. Will we make it farther than last round? I don't know. We'll have to get past this point and the point after that to get farther than last round. So we'll have to wait and see. But I can at least spawn in some shield weeds. They, they will always help. We got five points, or five people on the point. Okay, time snare seemed to land. I see this guy's gonna come around the corner, right? No, not quite, he's running away. You get back here, Arctic Trooper. Turn him into a goat. Oh, wow, I just, I was trying to go into my, uh, the Enigma there, the Arcane, whatever. Didn't really work out. <laughs> hmm, can I revive any of these guys? Now they're all respawning in their own. Well, let's just rush to the next teleporter spot then, because I could try to get these vanquishes, but I'm just gonna end up getting vanquished myself. I don't know if we have any other roses on the team, so that's very beneficial for me. I mean, that's usually the sweet spot. You really don't want more than one or two roses on a team, because one thing, they're just gonna spend all their time competing for the teleporter. Another thing is that, you know, you could have a more offensive plant that can get some more vanquishes while she already works on that. So like, why have more than one? Don't you dare stop ruining my fun, Colonel Corn, save me! Save me, Colonel Corn, keep attacking me, he's time snared. Okay, get the other guy too. You know, he's turning into a goat. Never mind. Oh my gosh, it was so slow. It is so slow. This is tough. I don't know, even know if I'm gonna be able to get this teleporter. Come on, guys, this is my only chance for experience. And there's really loud power tools outside. I'm so sorry. I'm so very sorry. There's construction going on on our house outside, and it's gonna happen for the next, like, two or three weeks, and I just gotta deal with it, and it stinks. Sort of like, you know, our changes to Rose and Super Brains. Let's. Tie that into a segue again. <laughs> is that sometimes you might not like these changes, but for right now that's what we have to deal with as players is to try them out and see what we don't like and report back to PopCap and let them know what we think might need to be changed for the better. I mean, I think overall everybody was interested in the change for Super Brains and Rose. I'm not really sure what everybody saw on the turnout was. I think overall though, uh, it might, like if you're not, <laughs> it feels like it's great for everybody who isn't a Super Brains and Rose player. Which is great because there's a lot more players than just Super Brains and Rose players in the game, you know? But it definitely stinks for the people trying to play Super Brains and Rose. It's great for the people who have been having to play against them, for sure. But as somebody who has to max out all the Roses and all the Super Brains still, I am not looking forward to it at the moment. It's just more difficult than it was before. And that's a pain. And maybe that's my own fault. Maybe I should have gotten to it when I could. I mean, I still, I think the thing that I like the most about this is probably the Necros buff because I like Necros. It's just she wasn't that great. So now she's a little bit better. I think this is the second time she was being buffed as well. And I think she really needed it still. 
My least favorite thing about these changes is definitely, definitely the changes to the Turbo Twister. It is a useless ability now, in my opinion. Unless I'm misreading something and I should experiment more, but you guys can let me know about that. What are your thoughts on it? Do you think that I'm right or wrong? I'm pretty sure, I, I'm, I'm pretty confident I'm right on this one. I mean, how many times I've been confident about that and I ended up being dead wrong anyways? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, that, that guy's done. Don't have to worry about him. Oh gosh, I at least did a little bit of damage, right? <laughs> That's good. Is my teleporter still active? Did I even set that up? I can't remember. I haven't been going through it, have I? I mean, sometimes I get spawned in past it. That doesn't help. Okay, see, I, I still have my teleporter up. Let me just hang out back here then. I'll go ahead and set up some of these summonables. I mean, whatever ones I haven't set up, there really aren't too many more. You're gonna spawn some stuff in, good job. Try to be careful, I know there's like a soldier somewhere around there that I don't wanna mess with. And just try to stay back a little. I don't need to go into the fray. I am a rose after all. We have a minute to take this point. We're not, we're, we weren't able to take it last round. Will that land? It actually did go to fight a couple people. That is so much more of a challenge to do. Um. Oh, hello. Were you beating up my friends? I don't appreciate that. We got the assist. I'm gonna revive this Colonel Corn. Come on, buddy. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Yeah, teamwork. Awesome stuff. Oh gosh, who's beating me up? Oh no, it's this guy. The guy who's vanquished me like 18,000 times. Save me, team. Beat him up. Thank you. You're the best. Now now we have the power of teamwork on our side. And it's working out pretty nicely. The only problem is that they respawn and get back out here so easily. It's insane. I see the scientist over that way. I want to try to beat him up a little bit. Oh gosh, imp. Imp. Turn him into a goat. The goat didn't land. Oh boy. Come on, get this guy a little bit. Try to just beat up anybody, really. <laughs> okay, well I did a little bit of damage going in. Man, there are some people doing crazy well on this round. Level six though, because of the teleporters, which is nice. Okay, everybody go through my teleporter, please. That's it, oh, look at that experience right in. A lot of us, you can tell how many of us got vanquished. Oh man, seeing the fruits of your labor, that's beautiful. All right, thank you everybody. I'll try to hang back over here and just support you guys from a distance, because that's the best thing I can do. Okay, so slow this dude down. He's he's just like adamant on destroying everyone all the time. It's insane. Yeah, somebody got him. Cool, good job. Come on, I'm on the point. Let's bring this into overtime. Bring this into overtime. Oh no. Oh no, it's not gonna work, is it? <laughs> well, we tried. I think that shield wind got on. Oh, that's good. Come on, come on, can we do it? It's overtime. Oh no. Oh, there's three people on the point, but it's one to four. Oh gosh, three to five. Three to three, two, one to one, two to one. Oh gosh, I'm coming guys, I'm coming to help. Yeah. Go to fight these dudes. I might have landed that, I didn't. <laughs> okay, help out, help out. It's a rush to the point and oh, me being in the thing didn't count. That's a shame, because I was you know, in my ethereal mode, which is sort of baloney. You could at least give Rose that. With all the different nerfs she has, I don't know. I feel like that's sort of silly. Okay, I feel like they should change it so like maybe it still triggers overtime, but it doesn't count towards like, you know, like if you have two people, including the Rose, and the other team only has one person, like it won't gain points for them, like for the plants, it won't be an advantage, but it would still count for overtime. I don't know though, lots to talk about in today's episode, but that's gonna wrap it up. So there is our look at the Crimson Crown Legendary Hat for the Rose. I would love to hear your thoughts on this one. I've talked about it throughout today's episode, so I won't blab about it anymore. We will, though, go ahead and promote the Neck Rose. So glad that I'm gonna be able to do that a little bit easier because we still have one, two, three roses left to level up, and that's gonna be challenging for sure. But I'll try as hard as I can, and hopefully you will too. Good luck with leveling up the roses and super brains if you have any more to level up. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Crimson Zebra so you've watched at the end of the you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.